you ever start uh, reorganizing your books? And uh, as you can see, I got that empty little shelf on the uh, library. And I thought, well, um, I'm just going to reorganize some stuff and, you know, and get it all moved around. So you got piles everywhere and you're starting to get things going. And then you come across the book and you think, um, I'm kind of tired of uh, doing my work and getting this organized. I'm going to do a review. So, JLA, uh, Liberty and Justice. Um, I'm trying to say, uh, oh, excuse me. So, this is the size of a regular comic book. And in fact, this is a trade. And you can see uh, how much bigger the JLA book is. So, it's this oversized um, book. I purchased it two years ago at Free Comic Book Day. Uh, it was in the children's section. Always amazed by what they put in the kids' section sometimes. Um, I mean, there's nothing truly wrong about it, but uh, this JLA story, as you can see, Alex Ross cover and Alex Ross art on the inside. So, boom, 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 boom. A meteor crashes into Africa, releasing a virus. The virus paralyzes people, but their minds are still active. Uh, it starts spreading and spreading, and the world starts to get worried. So the JLA jumps in to save the day. The uh, book is, you know, Alex Ross's art, of course, is uh, always amazing, beautiful, because I love saying the word beautiful. Um, you know, that photorealistic style of, you know, I mean, it's as real as real could be. These people can almost jump off the page. I love Alex Ross's work, which is probably why you see so little of it. Uh, I'm sure the amount of time he puts into it, I, I can't imagine what they have to pay this guy. The story, though, is uh, fairly uh, flat. I mean, it, it's good. Um, you know, the JLA has to figure out what's wrong. They find out that it's a meteorite, but the plague is spreading so they have to figure out how to stop it and they have to stop the world's fear i mean it's during this time of the ebola uh it's pretty obvious what happens to us we get fearful we want to shut people off uh the united nations some of the countries decide they're just going to bomb the area and uh eradicate the uh issue um the flash himself uh, also gets infected, and so he's paralyzed. And it's interesting to watch the JLA do the social attack just as much as the physical stuff that they have to do. There is no major villains in this book, like I've mentioned. It is um, just a meteorite, and so they find it and uh, get rid of it. They figure out a countermeasure for the virus, and it's just... A feel-good JLA book so yeah it's you know it's got a uh, nothing that children couldn't read it's just is it a kid's book I mean they're not gonna pick it up and just read it um, like I mentioned Alex Ross's art you know is just in general wonderful I'll try and get past some of that glare to get you um, I've always been a huge fan of his and if you've read any of his work or seen any of his work um you know i mean it's just he's got he knows what's iconic what's classic um it is kind of tough then in that style there's a lot of frozenness to it it is a like a, a picture taken as opposed to an action shot um you know and there's a little bit with the flash in that or somebody flying but you know the problem is is with alex ross's art is you know it 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 is like capturing a moment of time. By doing so, it is beautiful, but it is stationary. Um, so this giant JLA book uh, generally runs about 10 bucks, and that's what I think is a great buy. Of course, on Free Comic Book Day, all these go at half price. Um, so once again, I got a great deal on it. Um, I love my comic book shop. Unfortunately, uh, Jay Johnson, the former owner, has passed away. Uh, so the Johnson family, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, the as far as I could tell, I think they've always had the uh, manager of the shop running it. 
and doing what he knows is right and then you know they just get the profits or uh work with them you know and the workers so i don't know that that's going to affect my shop any um but right now the focus is of course on on the johnson family um so once again thankful for them for having these books having the sales um for having the shop uh you know it's it's a huge investment uh in the community my town is probably just big enough for the one shop we've had one or two other shops try and open and they've struggled um now there's one in another town close by but once again thankful for the store thankful for the the jet the justice league of america um uh, liberty and justice uh alex Wright ross does a lot of these just justice kind of books um so i had to say you know i, I needed my break i stopped down enjoyed this one uh you know flip back through reread it a little bit uh you know just loved it but now i got a pile of comic books and knickknacks and crud you know what i collect uh oh my wonderful toys and tchotchkes also um so i better get back to work so catchphrase